Ok, ahí vienen. Good morning. Thank you all for coming so early after such a strong ceremony last night. It was excellent. Everybody did really well. They went another notch higher than they were before. And I was really pleased to see how it went. I was really so pleased to see how you guys recovered and how you're all ready to go and do another ceremony with me tonight. It's going to be a great one. We have a few more people arriving this afternoon. But I think it'll be really a fantastic ceremony once again. Now, yesterday you were asking me some questions at the end of the ceremony. You were asking me, what exactly is the bow for? What exactly do we do the, stra the strategy of the archery for? Why do we come up here, me and my close friends, come up here and practice every morning for 45 minutes? This is the reason. Bow and arrow are for training the intent and the, the concentration so that you know exactly what you want to do, and you do not let anything deviate you from your goal. You keep your attention focused, your body, your mind, your spirit, and your heart, all focused on what you're accomplishing. The reason why this is such valuable practice is because the things that you're going to meet in everyday life, you're going to meet when you're doing your meditation. These things are going to confront you. They're going to come by metaphorically and symbolically to test you to see exactly how strong, decisive, and powerful you are. Now, you can come in here on any given morning, shoot two or three arrows, and it'll go smooth as silk. But you get to the fourth or fifth arrow, and here you go, ready to go, and all of a sudden somebody calls your name, a bird comes and comes close to your head, you hear a child calling over there, but what you do, you hold, you hold, you hold, and you shoot, and you hit the bullseye. And then you say, yes, what did you want? And you say, wow, that was a big raven that almost hit me in the head. Now, that's why when you do that day after day after day, you develop a concentration of focus and an ability to use your time and your energy extremely efficiently and well. And that is why we do this kind of meditation. Now to bring this back home with you, you get back home, you practice your, your meditation, you're well focused, you know exactly what you're doing and what you want to do. You go out to buy a car one day, walk in there, you're in the showroom, decide on tomorrow, talking to the salesman. All of a sudden you hear a screechy voice of a person out on the side arguing. You don't go, oh no. Some guy on a motorcycle comes blasting through the plate glass window, does the 360 and drives out the entrance. You notice it, but it doesn't distract you from buying the car because he did your practice. Okay, it's the same thing in everything. This helps you decide what you're going to do and it helps you accomplish it. Quite simply, it's a beautiful thing. It's been used for a long time through the history of man for both men and women. Men have always used it as a, a test of virility, strength, focus, and character. How well are they able to shoot a bow? It's very important. It's been very important for a long time. With women, it's the same way. There's entire tribes of women that lived by bow hunting and bow fighting. Some of them cut their right breasts off so that they would be better bow women. That was the Amazonian tribe. These were very, very big women, very aggressive ones too. So that's where the Amazonian woman term came in. But men from time immemorial have been using the bow as a test of strength, power, focus, and character. And so the bow is an incredibly beautiful instrument for developing high qualities, for enabling you to keep a high frequency in your everyday work, to be able 
take the high road through every struggle and to make the right decisions and to put things in their place and to make sure you're authentically yourself in every moment because that's the key. That's the only thing you're going to be good at is yourself, being yourself. And as long as you can concentrate and focus and continue evolving into a stronger version of yourself, your life is going to be a beautiful adventure. And I wish that for all of you, and I really appreciate your presence here in front of me, and I really look forward to doing another ceremony with you tonight. So have a pleasant day. I understand some of you going kayaking, and uh, some of you are going to take a trip up to Magdalena with uh, Brenda. And so enjoy your day, get some rest, eat lightly, have your last meal at 3 o'clock, and make sure that uh, you take a little nap before the ceremony because it's going to be a very strong ceremony tonight and I look forward to it. Thanks again for coming.